Trent, you recently underwent neck surgery. So how are you feeling now? Uh, it's been like two weeks now and I, I feel great, but I know that in between my vertebrae, I don't have bones or anything yet. It's kind of just dust that I'm waiting to grow into bone. It doesn't feel like anything, but, uh, it's going to still going to be a while before I come back, but, uh, it was actually surgery wise, like way easier than I expected it to be. But uh, yeah, I feel good. Thanks. Good. It's good to hear. Um, Chris, you've recently made your big return after an injury in March. And firstly, how did you spend your time away from the ring, like other than rehab and healing? Uh, a lot of crying. There's a lot of crying. I was so, I was very sad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You fit in this team um, great. Way better than I thought you would. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was, it was like one of the time. hardest. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sorry. Well, it was one of the hardest times in my life. And it wasn't just because I couldn't wrestle. I just felt like I had let everyone down and myself down. And I felt useless and hopeless. And it was just really emotional for me. Mm -hmm. um, but I don't know. Sometimes you have to go through those hard periods to really find the light at the end of the tunnel. I mean, timing wise in your career, the timing was um, bad, obviously, but with it being the pandemic, did you think that maybe like, if it had to happen at any time, that was a better time? Cause now you're back and we do have the crowds. See, a lot of people said that a lot of people were like, if there's any time to have such a bad injury right now is probably the perfect time. Mm -hmm. Um, but it still sucked. I like, I didn't, I wasn't like, Oh, at least there's no fans. Like I was like, ah, I can't wrestle. Like I can't do anything. And I, I feel horrible. And it just like at now looking back at it. Yes. But while going through it, everything was just dark clouds and just miserable for me. <laughs> so it was very hard to like see positives during it. But I, I definitely think now looking back on it. Yeah. It was better that it happened then. <laughs> The moment that you made your return was so awesome coming out of the claw machine. Can you tell me anything about how that that came together and what it was like for you getting to come back in such a way? I want to let them talk about it because I had no idea what was happening until until it happened. So it was, let, let someone else talk about it. It was originally supposed to be me in the claw machine. Mm -hmm. And I, I felt like, oh... I don't, I feel like my guy doesn't come out of a claw machine. I think Orange Cassidy comes out of a claw machine, but I uh, thankfully got it switched to uh, my mom driving me. Well, if you know us, if you know us, you like, you know that we like to jump out of stuff. So we hide uh, stuff all the time. So <laughs> this is the only thing we like to do. And if we have a claw machine, someone's obviously going to come out of a claw machine and why not have our alien friend jump out of a claw machine? So, uh, you, you know, know yeah, we all like to, you, man. You, came out of a van. you, you, okay. A van we walk out of, we don't really pop. Chuck just never had an opportunity to jump out of anything yet. You don't think he's, he's chomping just to wait, just to wait to hide into a, a nice little closet or, or a shelf or yeah. something. Every dynamite I'm trying to hide in something. They just never show. Oh, you were in, we did the cake too. Yeah, I, jumped, I came out of a cake. What else? If there's a large object, we're coming out of it. <laughs> what would you most like to jump out of, uh, Chuck? If we had to make something for you to jump out of? Oh man! If Great you could give me like question. a nice, a nice, uh, nice. Oh, shit! <laughs> oh, I blew it. No, I, I cursed. I'm sorry. Uh, what do you call the the Mexican thing you hit with a stick? Pinata. Pinata. <laughs> I uh, blew it. Yeah, I want to jump out of a pinata one time on on just dynamite. Human shaped, where you just kind of. It just looks like through. me. It's actually just a pinata of my own head, and they're like, oh. "Surely he's not in there." And then I jump out of it. And hey, I you know what? We're gonna do that. <laughs> All right. <laughs> um, with in arcade anarchy, you had so many great um, props and the arcade machines and everything. How much did you guys get to decide what you wanted that match to look like and what you'd have in it? Um, that was very last minute. <laughs> we didn't know until I believe we started shooting at like nine p.m. Mm -hmm. and around five, uh, we still didn't know what the hell we were gonna have. <laughs> And then they brought us a bunch of arcade machines and told us we couldn't, there was only one we could touch. Mm -hmm. So uh, 
it was interesting to uh, try to figure out what the hell we were going to do because it was a lot of stuff we didn't know we were going to have and a lot of stuff we weren't allowed to touch. So, oh, yeah, I remember I was I was like going to smash Miro through some kind of a uh, machine. And then we realized like, oh, there is those guys did an awesome job, by the way. I don't. Oh, like, yeah. They, oh, they, they were incredible. And they look great but there just wasn't an extra machine for me to smash Miro through. And we just kind of assumed there was for no reason. Yeah. So like a last minute decision was like, oh, we're going to put a table sideways. It was a lot like the parking lot match where like, we didn't really, we had the day before we had no idea what to expect. The day of days. same thing with the yeah. parking lot fight. We like Both times five o'clock that day. We were o'clock. like, uh, they turned out all right. Do you guys have having jumped out of many things except for you, Chuck? <laughs> uh, what are your? Do you have a tip for what is it like being inside somewhere waiting, knowing you're about to jump out, and how do you kind of pass the time? And can you breathe when you're waiting in a boot or a claw machine? Uh, I could. Uh, you know what? I could take this one. Um, you know what? It's a. Uh, it's really tight. You sweat a bunch, and uh, no, you can't breathe. Thank you for your question. It's a really great question. Thank you. <laughs> no one knows. <laughs> I also, I always hated like backstage before matches when it's, when it's like really dark right before going out, it makes me get anxiety. Mm -hmm. So whenever we have to go in the van for a match or for anything, like I hate sitting in the van, just mm -hmm. not what I want to be doing before I have to like wrestle, like sitting down with my mom, slowly driving and she's talking to me like things are normal. <laughs> <laughs> That it just gives me so much anxiety. Yeah. My favorite was was uh, Orange said uh, after the parking lot fight because he was stuck in the trunk the whole time oh my God. in the boot. So he said he, it, it yeah for like you know thirty minutes. He said he opened up the trunk and he came out, and you know he saw everything normal, and then he couldn't see the oh, match, yeah. and so he opens it up, and there's just blood everywhere everything's broken there's trash thrown about he goes what the hell happened here because all you he can hear is noises like are my friends dead yeah that's you true for sure could have you for sure could have rolled out into the whatever back seat and no you would have saw me really? i couldn't yeah, yeah. that's that, where all, the that right? all right never mind i still don't believe you <laughs> You mentioned your mom, Sue, and her van there. How does your mom feel about her fame and the fan love that she gets in the wrestling world? She's so uh, annoyingly excited about it. <laughs> she goes nuts. She loves it so much. Uh, what cocky. It went to her head. That far. <laughs> it really went to her head. She gets so excited. Uh, like, if she was a wrestler, like, who's been wrestling for a long time and was getting that excited and talking about it that much. Like people would be like, Oh, this guy, but it, since it's my mom, it's, it's okay. You know, she yeah. loves it so much. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. <laughs> so going back to your return, Chris, uh, how did it come about that you would join this group and guys, how, how do you feel about Chris being in it and what has she brought to the group so far? Uh, Oh, I, I, I didn't know, again, like with the whole popping out of things and everything, like I didn't know it was happening until like pretty much the day of, mm -hmm. uh, and I don't know how they feel about it. I feel like they're going to say it's a miserable. <laughs> now that I joined. Yep. Anyone? Yeah. <laughs> it's been, oh, man. It's been miserable. Yeah. I feel, Real was nightmare. it? At least she hasn't got talking about, yet. Were we talking about how we wanted her in it? Like yes years ago yes right at the beginning we we're like we should have her in with us yeah yes. tony said it would never happen on tv he told that verbatim to orange and i because we were trying to make it happen on uh bte and he's like he's like oh, you guys yeah. have your fun but that'll never happen on tv <laughs> and i think people don't understand the reason the reason is because you guys are just like aliens i mean you guys had aliens in your uh in your entrance video right so it's like why not have the only, really? only alien and that's why she's she's here we have dogs in it too, so we need some dogs. But uh, Show them. also, Show them I'm gonna get my dog. Like Chris, Walter, I'm gonna put her over. I feel like Chris like fits the group weirdly well and mm -hmm. uh, way better than I even expected, and like somehow makes us cooler. Um, well, she's the muscle of our group. 
She's the muscle. Yeah. Chuck, who, yeah, are, who are we again? Who, who, what, what's our roles again? I yeah, forget. So I'm, I'm the brains. Orange is the looks. Trent's the wild card. And uh, Chris is the muscle. <laughs> what, what is uh, your dog's name? Walter. Walter, wow. Yeah, he loves NXT UK. <laughs> he looks good today, man. He just got a bath. He smells really good. A bow needs a bath so bad. Make that the headline for the interview. <laughs> Ooh, bow needs a bath. <laughs> you guys also recently, uh, Orange, you got Where Is My Mind is your entrance music. How did that come about? And, and when did you find out that Tony was putting down the big bucks to get you that? Uh, we, I always joked around about having a uh, Jefferson Starship Jane as my entrance again, because it's uh, probably the, the best, you know, one of the best ever entrances of all time, entrance yeah. songs of all time. And we we're just kind of talking about it one night. And then like, we was like, well, if we can't get that, we'll be another thing. And I believe Chuck was with us too. We we're just kind of throwing songs around. And I, that's a, that's a sweet song too. It's totally not professional wrestling, which is perfect. Mm -hmm. And then uh, one day, I got a phone call. He said, Hey, come down and meet me. I got to talk to you about something. And he just told me, he just did it without me knowing. <laughs> so I mean, who came up with the, uh, the song idea? I think Tony may have said it. I, I think he may have said it, but I, I can't, it was, you know, we were just throwing songs away right now. And then like, that was, that was a good one. I, I remember, I remember we were like, Oh, that's, that's really good. And then he just surprised me with it. So there you have it. <laughs> Now it's a sweet, now I get to walk down, I get to saunter down to the ring to it. I feel so cool when we get to come out to it. With it's you. really cool. Yeah, that parking lot fight at the end when your mom, when we were high-fiving or whatever, like, that was, that was a cool little moment. The arcade, the arcade. Yeah. Yeah. That was the first day of it, right? Or no? Yeah, I believe, it was like the second, yeah, it was like, it was really, that was like, yeah. Yeah, that was one of the happiest endings I've ever seen to wrestling show, the end of Arcade Anarchy when the song played and you were with your mom and you were all together. <laughs> <laughs> Did that feel as good as it looked? Like for you, Chris, returning with that and then the rest of you like getting the song and hearing the fans, it just seemed really just mag like a movie ending almost. I feel like in it, it didn't feel as cool as it was when we watched it back. I was like, oh man, that's like, that's, a, that's precious. Like it was so, it was like watching it back, it felt more like, oh, that was a really cool moment that we got to be a part of as opposed to like being in it. Cause I, I, I don't know about everyone else or probably uh, Trent, but I was just worried about not looking like an idiot in my return. <laughs> it, it was so long for me. I was doing the same exact thing, yeah. <laughs> it, 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 didn't, it felt it didn't cool. feel like a good moment it, it felt, felt cool like, for us right, it's, it's done yeah we uh we're getting murdered by miro this giant monster person mm -hmm. and so like to be able to like oh it's over he's not hitting us with chairs anymore uh was pretty exciting mm -hmm. yes and that's then I won, uh, thing. and then i won wrestler of the week <laughs> and then you were wrestler of the week without being a wrestler that was cool <laughs> yeah <laughs> I won the match. I jumped off stage with a with a man in my arms through tables. But anyway, I yeah, I won. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and last week, Chris and Orange, we saw you in a mixed tag team match. So, what was that like being in the ring and working together in a match? It was a lot of fun. Yep. I mean, I think yep. I, I did most of it, but <laughs> you, you sure did. <laughs> No, it's like because, uh, you know, Chris and I have obviously tagged before. So this wasn't like anything new for us, but it was good to, for us to show, you know, that type of wrestling to a, a wider audience. And I think uh, the more I can have somebody else do stuff for me in my matches, the better. So I really just let Chris do everything. And, uh, you know, in that regard, I think I really crushed it. You did great on the on walking the apron. It was so good. Thank you. Well, I was Appreciate holding it. someone upside down for 30 seconds. It's so a real, a real Robert Gibson out there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, for you, uh, Orange, Chuck, and Trent, they're in AEW, there seems to be no shortage of trios. Do you think that the time is near or right for a trio's title to be introduced? Mm. <laughs> I want to see I yeah, know. I thought you, you look so you look so ready. He looks like he's ready to say something, but I don't know what he's saying. I don't. I don't know how I feel about it because I always feel like less belts 
West yeah. Championships. Wow, I'm still in WWF mode. I just corrected myself for saying belts. Less ah. belts is always a good thing. Uh, sure. But it also would be really cool to have a trios. Yeah, maybe on pro trios titles. Mm-hmm. What do you guys think? Only if we win them. If anyone else wins them, hell no. Get rid of them. Good point. But if we yeah, win I don't them. Care. I don't care either way. Belts are heavy, and they always make you take them out at uh, security at TSA when you're flying. So as long as we don't have to actually carry them with us. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> have a belt and go through TSA with them? Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. I had the PWG belt and it it's seven hundred pounds and everyone's like, Oh, what what is this WWF for you? And they try to like wrestle you, it sucks. Are you a boxer or something? Where'd you get what who'd you put in this from? It doesn't look too great either, so it's not like it's impressive when you pull that one out, right? Yeah. The green one. Yeah. But if AEW had one, that'd be cool. A trio we saw you confront recently were Death Triangle, and you've had the Arcade Anarchy in the parking lot ball. What is there a kind of match that you think would fit those guys if you were to do another big match like that? Yeah, it's gotta be something weird. Yeah, we don't have big matches that aren't weird. The original parking lot brawl was actually supposed to be against uh, the Lucha Bros. Mm -hmm. They had announced it uh, for the week after. The shutdown we were in salt lake city and they had announced it on march 11th for the next show i believe it's supposed to be in uh newark we were supposed to uh wrestle them in the parking lot fight mm-hmm. so i guess we can bring that back if we have to fight those dudes i just looked up the pwg title it's actually way nicer than i remembered so i'll take back my statement it's really we heavy pick, like, we should pick like not like instead of parking lot maybe it's like a a barn. We'll fight in a barn or something. There we go. Mm. Like an old barn. Okay. A we'll barnyard that... brawl. Yeah, what yeah, yeah, yeah. Pig pen match. Oh yeah, we'll do that. A oh, hog pen, yeah. Something with animals. Let's go to the supermarket. <laughs> supermarket fight. What? Oh shit! That would be so much fun. Supermarket sounds would be Super great. Yeah, that's cool. Let's do that. Yeah. The, what was go, the WCW match? The answer? Where they were on a truck and they, it, the truck was driving. I think Goldust was in it. Yeah, he was. Every, every every one of those matches I get real hurt in. So let's do that. Well, uh, you guys are now back on the road with Dynamite. You were in Miami last week, in Texas yeah. this week. So how are you guys going to adjust to being back on the road after being <laughs> in one place for so, so long? Thanks for bringing uh, that up. Feels so good. <laughs> it's the best. Is I'm so good? glad. Like I'm so glad. Me, Chuck, and Chris can all experience being on the road, <laughs> and seeing all these people, and then just knowing that Trent's at home, has to watch us on his television as we're <laughs> enjoying all these live fans and having such a great time. It's just so exciting to go to the airport and not have to tell him you're going to Jacksonville. Just anywhere else, <laughs> and to know Trent's watching at home. Chris, you want to rub it in? You want to rub it into Trent a little bit more too, real quick? No, because I, I was I was injured, so I know the pain. How He'll be back. back. I'm, here, same time I'm here for too. you, buddy. Flip that light switch on, man. I want to see you flip it. Flip it on. There it is. Come on. Wow. No. <laughs> Don't worry, Trent. I'm already. I'm starting to work on the uh, the kitchen cabinet. You're going to jump out of for our uh, supermarket spider or something. <laughs> The supermarket sweep match we're doing. I'm like on a on a top shelf in a kitchen cabinet. And I just kind of <laughs> yeah, yeah. flop Fall out. out like a watermelon. <laughs> yeah, the watermelon. Oh, no, it should, it should be like um, you're in like the frozen food thing, and you open it, and then you pull something out, and then his face is just behind oh, whatever. Oh. That would be cool. Like, but he's all icicled up go around like... the back. <laughs> yeah, and you just reach through. He's like Jack uh, Nicholson. Pulling in through the freezer. <laughs> Then I stopped hey, to go out through the back. Let's not burn these ideas now, okay? Let's, let's <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Coming to Dynamite soon. Thought I, because there's so many of you, I would end with just a quick fire of saying things where you can give a thumbs up or a thumbs down to pineapples on pizza. Kind of I'm, I'm down. <laughs> it's fine with me. Just I, I don't like it, but it doesn't bother me. I've never tried it, so I'm indecisive. Hey, you, you thumbs downed it? And you, it's fine with you? I don't like I don't like it, but it doesn't bother me. 
but you gave it a thumbs down. So it seems for like personal, like for, for right? Dustin, <laughs> Dustin doesn't want to eat it, but it doesn't piss him off. Mm. Wrestlers having their own bitcoins. That's a thing. Is that a thing? Do people have that? MJF has one, right? Oh, well, then all right. There you go. <laughs> I, hate MJF. I hate everyone from Long Island. A ketchup on hot dogs. Oh, yeah. When I people used to eat meat, yeah. Wearing double yeah. denim. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Fast five being the best in the franchise. Aliens are real. Oh. 